All right, whether we like it or not, we've all had negative experiences in the workplace. But how do we take those negative experiences and turn them into positive ones? In this video, I'm gonna go over three scenarios on how to turn negative experiences into positive ones. All right, scenario number one, and this is a big one, a hostile work environment. Now we've all been there. We've all had to deal with a hostile work environment in the past. Whether you're feeling bullied or you've been on an improvement plan that you just can't live up to, or maybe you just don't fit in. These are all signs of a hostile work environment. And it can feel really shitty. Honestly, it can make you feel like you're not confident anymore in your abilities to fulfill a job. And that's just not true. How do we turn that negative, you know, response to a hostile work environment into a positive? Well, what can we take away from a hostile work environment? We know that we're not feeling any confident. We know that we're not gonna be motivated by an improvement plan. So what will motivate us? Building a community on LinkedIn is really great for this or even on a Discord channel that's specific to your industry. That can also be really helpful. Somebody that's gonna know your woes and your pains can really help you get through a hostile work environment. And maybe at the end of the day, you need to leave that job and find a new one. It's okay. We've all been there and we've all gone through a hostile work environment. I should note as well, if you're in a hostile work environment and you need to seek help, please reach out to me or somebody in your community and tell them what's going on. You can even reach out to HR or your TA and see if they can help you along that, that path to success. That's really important. You have to take care of your mental health before you can continue you know, being successful at a job. All right, number two, not having clear communication in the workplace. Again, we've all been there. Maybe you have a manager that's not being really clear in their goals for you. Maybe you don't know how to be successful in your role and you don't know where to look for help. One way that you can turn this negative aspect of not having clear communication into a positive is again, reaching out to your peers and your higher ups and your managers and your leads to seek help. If you run across a problem or if something isn't clear, you need to be able to reach out to that person to really clear the air and to really make sure that you know what you're doing. Nobody likes spending about a week's worth of time on something that they're unclear of and then for it only to be scrapped at the end. Not only that, but you'll be able to use that on an interview and say, hey, look, I have a problem here. I had a problem here at this place where people weren't really clear in their communication and this is how I made it better. I reached out to the people involved we made a plan and we really went with that plan and it helped us make the product even better. That's your goal, that's your impact, that's your problem statement and then that's how you fixed it and that's how you lead in the industry that you're in. All right, scenario number three. You have zero experience and you're trying to break into a industry. Now this can be really bad. If you don't have any projects, you haven't networked or anything like that, it can be really hard to break into an industry that you're really interested in. For instance, software engineering. If you don't have any projects, if you haven't networked at all and you're just starting out, don't worry, we've all been there, especially me. What you have to do first and foremost is set up a plan for yourself. Start making a goal for yourself to have those guidelines for you for the rest of your career, right? Maybe you're just starting out. You don't know where to start. Make a project, make any little project. There's so many tutorials on YouTube, on Udemy, on LinkedIn. There's so many different resources and tools there for you to start learning. Free Code Camp is also really great to start out. Not only that, but start researching and start networking with people in the industry already. Chances are they've probably been through a similar situation as you. Now your journey will look totally different, but you have to start somewhere. Pick up a book, make sure you're networking with somebody in your LinkedIn community, or make sure that you're starting on a project. Any of those things can be really helpful in diving into a new industry. Alrighty guys, that's it. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. If you have any suggestions for content, I would love to feature it. Please let me know.